Warning, the following program contains scenes of graphic stupidity between a man and some games. Don't take anything Android say too serious, I'm just messing around. This video should not be viewed by anyone. How's it going everybody? Today we are going to take a first look at the next gen version of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Earlier today we have gotten a ton of information on what this new update is going to bring to the game and I gotta say, it's bigger than I could have ever imagined. Now first things first, the update is going to come out on the 14th of December and it is going to be free if we already own the game. And when it comes to what this update is going to bring to the game, well, it's gonna bring quite a few things. First things first, of course, is improved visuals. We are going to get ray tracing, ambient occlusion, DLSS as well, and a bunch of other things, including ultra plus settings. And this is going to allow us to really push the visuals to the maximum. We are also going to get new armor for Geralt. I've seen a couple of them actually, I've seen some original ones and then we have some armors inspired by the Netflix TV show and when it comes to the armors inspired by the TV show it looks like we are actually going to get a quest that will give us the schematics for uh, for the armors and by the looks of it is going to be over the quest is going to be over at uh, Devil's Pit I'm not 100% sure but it looks like it's it's right there from the few shots that I have seen from the quest so we are going to get some new quests as well I don't know if we're gonna get multiple, but for sure we're gonna get at least one. We're also going to get photo mode. Photo mode is a very, or was a very requested feature because it is going to be in the game now. So we're gonna be able to take different shots. I'm a, I'm a sucker for taking pictures in games and especially in The Witcher, I've been taking pictures in it for a long, long time now. And I've always, you know, used the, the, uh, the Nvidia photo mode. And now we're gonna, we're gonna have an actual in-game photo mode, which, which looks very good as well. We're also gonna get new camera angles. We can we can set up the camera, you know, however we want. We can have it closer to Geralt, you know, further away. We can have Geralt to the side of the screen. So we're going to have a new camera mode, and it looks good. It looks it looks very good. I really like it. Now, when it comes to consoles, we are going to get a performance mode and quality mode as well. And of course, we're gonna get the, we're gonna get the, the new armor and the new swords and things like that because we're going to get new swords as well. Now I'm not really a console player, I play on PC, but apparently the PS5 has these fancy uh, controllers and now whenever you do things in game like cast signs or fight somebody, the controller is going to vibrate. So uh, the game now has this thing called adaptive triggers and we're also going to get quick cast. So we're going to be able to set our signs on different buttons. So we're going to be able to quick cast them. So for example, we can put Igni on number one and queen or number two and things like that so it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting there's also going to be map changes we're gonna have map filters we can choose what we want to see on our map so we can disable certain things or we can enable them so we can customize our map however we want as well we can just take off every icon if we so please now when it comes to quality of life additions there's there's a ton of things here we're gonna get better foliage better textures there's an HD rework as well, which I believe has been made by a member of the Witcher community, which is awesome. And they have integrated it into this new update. We're going to have improvements when it comes to monsters. So monsters are going to look different as well. We're just going to have a better environment in general. There's going to be scaled subtitles. So we're going to be able to change the size of the subtitles, make them smaller, make them bigger. There will be a couple of quest fixes as well and some improvements when it comes to the characters. Uh, we're also going to be able to pause the game during cutscenes. So if uh, if a cutscene is playing and we have to take a break, we can just pause the game and do our thing and then return. They are going to introduce new languages as well. And as I've said, we're going to get the, uh, the season one and season two armor from the Netflix TV show. And that's going to be linked to, to a quest. And I've mentioned earlier, I think this is over at the Devil's Pit. It looks like it, but... We're gonna get a quest and we're gonna get new voice lines and everything like that. So Dog is back as Geralt, which is which is really awesome. Also Dandelion. <laughs> Dandelion now has a bit of an alternate look, so we can choose how Dandelion is going to look uh, look in the game. And and apparently there's a new Nilfgaardian armor as well that we're gonna be able to uh, to have. Plus cross progression as well. We can now sync our saves across platforms. So this new update looks to be incredible these are just a couple of things that i've um, that i've cut over on their on their stream this is just the info that they've released they said that they are going to release uh, full patch notes closer to the update so more things are going to come to the game but these are just some of the things that we can expect with this new update and i gotta say 
This looks awesome. I cannot wait to jump back in Velen on the continent and, and replay the Witcher. But yeah, let me know down below what you guys think about all of these things. I hope you've enjoyed. In case you did, be sure to drop some stuff and things. Make sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for taking the time and hanging out. And I will see you in the next one with some more video games.